how to create a birthday reminder workflow in HubSpot. Okay, so what is a birthday reminder workflow? Let's say you have some employees that you want to set a reminder, a task, or something of the sorts um, when their birthday is coming up. So on their birthday or either day before their birthday, or let's just say you want to do that for clients. Maybe you want to send them some gifts. So you can set up a workflow that will automatically remind you in HubSpot when their birthday is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to create a unique property and we're going to create a property called birthday. So hover over to settings and then just click on properties and then go ahead and click create property. We're then just going to type in. I already have one in the recycle bin, but that doesn't matter. We don't need to add a description. If you want to, you can for yourself. And then we're just going to choose the date picker. Now, HubSpot does not allow you to create um, date properties without the year. So you're going to have to add a year. Now, for privacy or for sensitivity reasons, you don't actually have to add the actual year that the person was born, but you can choose whatever you want. Now, I've also set mine up to be day, month, year. You can set this up in HubSpot as well, but the default is month, day, year. Okay, so then we're just going to click Next. And this is all fine. Create. So now that we've created our property, we're then going to create our workflow. So we're just going to hover over here to workflows. It's in automations and then just go to workflows. So right here. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new workflow. So we're just going to click create workflow from scratch. Now we're going to want this to be contact based workflow and we're going to want it on uh, to be set to a particular property so here contact date property and we're going to choose the exactly what we just created the property birthday great we're then just going to click next and i think we're just going to click no thanks for now i'm not sure what that pop-up is okay great so now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the trigger now, we may want the, to have um, only certain contacts have a birthday reminder, but for now, I'm just going to make it all contacts. So one of the easiest ways to kind of do to all of your contacts, make sure this workflow affects all of your contacts, is just say create date is known. That's kind of my default for everything. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to want this to recur annually. So now the workflow is recurring annually. And that's great. So we can either have the action on the day. So let's say we wanted to remind it on the day in the morning, we want to get a quick reminder to send a happy birthday message. So let's just say at 8 a.m. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a task. So click next. You can type in here task, create a task. And we're going to have that, say, immediately, or we could have that a few days before if we want to. But this one we'll just do immediately. We can also set an email reminder if we want. And in the task, we can just add some, we'll add the title, send happy birthday message. Over here, we could also put a template if we want. We can write down whatever we want to write in the notes section so that we have that saved for later. And then we're just going to share that to ourselves. So, well, let's just say for now, the existing owner of the contact, which we'll say is ourselves. And then just click Save. Okay. And that's about it. And then we're going to just call this Birthday Finder Workflow. And that's how you create a workflow for a birthday reminder. And that's about it.